Hi there. In this video, I will walk you through some exciting new features we implemented in an ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.7 release. Throughout this video, I will briefly introduce the new features, and you can find more details on each feature in a separate video within this series. Here's a list of notable new features, and we'll follow the list in this order. One of the biggest improvements in this release is the redesign of the UI. We went on the simplification path and redesigned the UI to bring you a better user experience. You will notice this right away when you log in to the new Unified Manager. We have simplified the menu so you can quickly access the main functions and events through the interactive UI and see the risks and alerts immediately. Now we can accomplish many more tasks with single or double clicks, so you're more in control with less efforts. The first main new feature I would like to introduce was adding the Active Management capabilities to the Unified Manager. Now, Active IQ Unified Manager not only can monitor, report, but also can manage provision loans, file shares, and regulate performance usage with performance service level policies in your data center environment. This new piece of capability came from integrating NetApp Service Level Manager and its service level objective capabilities into ActiveIQ Unified Manager. For simplicity-centric design, both products are merged into the same platform. If you have used Service Level Manager before, we kept the same functions and capabilities to utilize service level objectives, so you don't need to relearn how to use it. If you're new to this, we have separate video demos available to show you how it works. The best part is that Active IQ Unified Manager is a license-free product, so you're getting both free of charge. The second new feature we added is called VMware Awareness. By providing read-only, root-level access vCenter credential to the Active IQ Unified Manager 9.7, we can quickly access the performance and storage aspects information of your VMware environment. Imagine yourself diagnosing virtual machine issues and spending time pulling different data from multiple sources. Now everything is displayed in an end-to-end -to -end topology chart, showing exactly what's going on from compute, network, and storage perspectives, and we break those down to different objects for your quick reference. Each box will display the I.O. and latency data for that object, so you can see what's wrong immediately. The third notable feature is adding the Fix It button to the outstanding warning risks you see from your Unified Manager. Have you ever had experience in the past not knowing what to do with certain alerts? Now you can click a button to fix it automatically or make it go away so it doesn't bother you again. Some of the suggested actions came from the ActiveIQ engine, which was integrated in the previous release of ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.6. ActiveIQ is a powerful engine to provide actionable intelligence and suggested actions for risks alerts you see in your storage environment. You can check out more details about this integration in the previous product video. We also support those who require secure site deployments. Now in this release, you can manually push the ActiveIQ rule file to your ActiveIQ Unified Manager instance and get smart alerts suggestions on certain warnings and risks as you would from an open site. Security is an important topic, and we wanted to make sure you get the best support with ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.7 release. We added a dedicated security panel in this main dashboard showing you the environment storage security compliance status and break them down to cluster, SVM, and volume level. We compare the security settings against the ONTAP security hardening guide and tell you which exact setting is not compliant so you can see it visually right away. The fifth feature is adding the workload analyzer. You can access the feature from the left menu and by giving the workload name and range of time, you'll be getting four different charts showing the historical data for your quick analysis. IO latency, capacity trend, and utilization trend. This is especially useful when you need to quickly see what's happening to certain workloads. 
And best part is that this feature is fully integrated with other features. For example, if you need to analyze the data store of a certain virtual machine, we provide you a button that takes you directly to the workload analyzer, showing you the relevant data of that data store. The last feature is providing a comprehensive list of REST APIs with detailed documentation for you so you can easily automate things in a script fashion or integrating with your tools. The notable improvement here is adding the Gateway API in the GA release so you have a single programming endpoint to call not only the Active IQ Unify Manager APIs, but also the ONTAP native REST APIs to the single cluster directly. There are other new features we added to this release, but the above ones were the significant improvements we made in the Active IQ Unify Manager 9.7. Hope you find this video helpful and thank you for your time. Stay tuned for the next episode on Active IQ Unify Manager 9.7.